<laughs> so oh, there he goes. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the basement. Yeah, when we left off, we were going to go down this yellow door, and we were also going to talk about an awesome sci-fi movie, and Peter was going to try to guess which one it was. Yeah, you. T okay, so you said you recently saw it for the first time. Yes. And it's about the end of the world? Yes. Is it War of the Worlds? Nope. Oh. It's not It's not a classic by any stretch. I mean, is it's it the brand. new War of the Worlds with Tom, Tom Scientology Cruz in it? No. Hmm. Is it is it is it a newer movie? Is it about the end of Earth? Hmm. It is about the end of Earth, and it is a newer movie. Uh, is Haley Joel Osmond in it? I don't know who that is. So the, the yes. Sixth Sense Boy. I see dead people. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. Oh, uh, if he I... is, he's older. Uh, can you name one person who is in the movie? Uh, 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 he, he's in like every, <laughs> hold on, I don't, I don't know his name. <laughs> Why do we talk about movies? We just talked about this last, last episode. We are awful at movie talking. Yeah, it's funny though. Okay. <laughs> have you seen, okay. He's like in every, have you ever seen a romance, like a romantic comedy? Yeah. He's in every one. Hugh Grant? Nope. Uh, Steve Buscemi? N no. <laughs> Uh, we have to be able to go down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta x-ray that. Uh, uh, he's in every room. Uh, Pierce Brosnan? No, no, no. You're thinking too old. Like, current movies. Uh, Ooh, uh, go down or left. Tom I, Hardy? I left sounds more. Uh, no. Yeah, left is subtler. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey oh. is the lead actor. And he oh. does a great job. He's good in the stuff that he's good in. <laughs> I I would have so to. So am I. That. So That's are you. True. So is everybody. I've I've actually I don't mean to toot my own horn here. But I have won <laughs> an, an Oscar for every major motion film that I've been in. One hundred I'm one hundred percent of all of them. I'm I'm zero for zero. Uh Matthew McConaughey, end of the world. I don't know. Yeah, it's really great. Um it's on Amazon Prime, which I have an account for. Yeah. Um, elevator. Yeah, elevator action up in here. Um, now that's a game. It's called Interstellar. If you've seen Interstellar, oh! go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Well, I better, <laughs> I better do that then. I've seen Interstellar. I really like that. You just saw that, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's not new, like I said, but it's not old either. It's yeah. Yeah. No, that's a that's a um. Gosh, who made that movie? It's just good storytelling. We are we are getting close to Ridley right now. This is so scary, you guys. I hate Ridley. That was, that was Christopher Nolan, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. and that's why. Yeah. I was like, he as makes soon as I saw that, films. I knew that was. I'm a fan. Whoa, a ninja pirate? Pirates versus space ninjas? You've seen um, Inception. Whoa, how do we kill this guy? Oh, screw tech? Oh, oh, they're, and they're yellow. He's doing karate kicks. Watch out. Hiya. Is that when they're vulnerable? When they're yellow? You're firing a lot of- oh, there you go. A lot of super... ...missiles. Did you just karate chop them away? Maybe. You are almost as big as he is. Is, is she getting bigger? Is Metroid getting bigger? Metroid. <laughs> Metroid Bounty Hunter Samus? Yes, that's the one. They're making me shoot all my missiles at these guys before we fight. Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yeah, that's not gonna. Oh, go Ripley's well. Believe It or Not. Okay. No, we already My talked favorite. About that. Oh, I know, you got but more I have to say one more thing about Ripley's Believe well, It or Not. <laughs> and, and then I want to, and then we want, and then we need to talk about Inception for a minute. Okay. So Ripley's Believe It or Not, uh, they had. Well, this might be like a spoiler if you ever go to a Ripley's Believe It or Not. Have you ever been to one? The... No. Uh, I've been to one. I didn't pay to get in. Ooh. It was at like Wisconsin Dells or something, and it was like okay, yep. twenty dollars, and I thought eh, it's worth going into one once. I'll just not. I'll just look it up on the internet for free. I anyway, really don't. Have, we went you, in. This is taking a lot of concentration. It's hard to top. Yeah, but, have you made any progress on this thing? It just feels like the screw attack doesn't hurt it, and it knocks the missiles away. He's just got to turn yellow. Is the thing. I'm waiting for him to turn yellow. He's not doing it. Oh, that's a pain when they just make you wait. Ah! Oh, wow. You yellow belly coward. That's such a small window. Yeah, it was longer before. It's like a drive through window. Barely even a window, am I right? Am I right or am I right? 
was thinking about drive through windows today. And it's really super cold outside. It's a bummer to work at the drive through all day. You ever worked at a fast food restaurant? Yes, my first job was Taco Bell. Oh, that's right. We talked about that. Did you ever work the drive through? Uh, yes. I was darn good at it, too. Oh, yeah. People really liked talking to me. Did you ever theme your uh, witty banter according to what holiday it was? No, but I would talk in different accents. <laughs> Hello! You want <laughs> taco? South Russia, taco eats you! <laughs> taco salad? Don't be a baby. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of accents? Ah, uh, like, I think... I think I did it just once on a dare. It was like Scottish. Were you trying not to laugh? Were the people cool about it? No, they were angry. They got really mad. Really? Yes. The person on the other side was like, Ugh. I don't even remember what they were saying. God dang it. We don't even have any weapons now. We got no miss missiles. Missiles can't pass. You better turn yellow, dude. Can you super bomb him? He's kind of rocking out there. He's standing there like he's listening to his iPod. Nope. Just completely. There's nothing I can do. Except wait for him to turn yellow. This is so annoying. And it's blocked this way too. Hey Nintendo, the next time you make a Metroid game, leave this part out. When do you think they'll make another Metroid game? Is there a way to force him to turn yellow? I don't, well, hopefully they make one for the Wii U. I love Metroid games. They're sweet. So like lonely. I've heard people are really split on the GameCube because uh, it went like first person a little, didn't it? It was good. I liked uh, it. It's just other it was M? very different, right? No, other M was. Uh, oh well, there you go. You beat him. Other M was 2.5D, which I think mm. was really really great. Like uh, um, like I Super love... Mario 3D World. Is that 2.5D? Kinda. I mean, it's like octi direct. I mean, different different people have different opinions about what counts as 2.5D, I guess. But, yeah. <clears throat> um, but anyway, the cool thing about the way that uh, Other M worked, and that'd be a fun game to play at some point, honestly, because it's really cool. It's by, made by the same people who made Ninja Gaiden. Ooh. Yeah, but the uh, the na the game uh, it has like an auto aim feature that automatically aims uh, left and right, but doesn't aim automatically up and down. Oh. But it's kind of like an up, it's it's kind of like a third person shooting game. But since there's an auto aim feature for left and right, it functions just like this game we're playing right now. Because oh, you don't have sure. to aim left and right. You just have to jump to the same level. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> and then if you held down a button and you pointed it at the screen, it would go into first person mode so you could like shoot specific enemies and stuff if you wanted right but the gameplay was way more like this platforming kind of stuff where in um uh metroid prime series which was for like gamecube and stuff like that that was more like first person shooter and it, it worked but it didn't feel very metroidy prime that's what i was thinking of yeah Did you ever tell me the cool thing about Ripley's that you nope. still had to say? I didn't. You should say it now. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say what I need to say. Okay, when you first walked into Ripley's, believe it or not, there was like this little thing that says like, "Did you know that some people can put their tongue like make a, a three shape with their tongue, and some people can make like a, a U shape with their tongue, and some people can't do it, and it's actually a genetic thing." Like, mm -hmm. there's like, you know, statistic numbers of people like one in a million can do this and one in whatever and they got a mirror right there and like so you can test it and see sort of what you are whatever. when you get to the end of Ripley's you find out it was a two way mirror and you can watch other people doing it no <laughs> yeah. it's so good it was such like a clever thing yeah it's funny too because once you realize it you're on the fun end of it so you're kind of chagrined like oh people were looking at me but, but you're now like, you're ah. looking at someone else you're like ha ha like, ah, and then ah, they won't be mad about it because by the time they figure it out they'll be laughing at someone else Exactly. Oh, you know what would be sad would be the last person to go oh, through. Oh, this poor guy's stuck underneath. Here, let's kill him. The last person to go through. Of like, the of day. the day. <laughs> you get there, you're like, oh. oh. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> Maybe they have an employee whose job it is is just to stand there at the last time, the last part of the day. Or a video feed of the first person <laughs> that went through. <laughs> <laughs> 
oh. or a video feeder of themselves. <laughs> That's so Matthew 1930. Look it up <clears throat> and comment below. The first shall be the last, and the last shall be first. Oh, you ruined it. I'm <laughs> sorry. Good uh, job. Still look it up, guys. Good job, I caster. bet you can't guess who, who said it. <laughs> <laughs> who said it? It was Matthew. McConaughey? <laughs> full, full circle. circle. <laughs> oh, speaking of full circle, uh, Inception. <laughs> speaking of full circle. Hey, great. Because um, that movie totally did that, too. Like, it started at the end, and they ended where they started. So, you know how at the end, <clears throat> right? You don't know if it's real or if it's not. Like he's yes. finally reunited. Spoiler alerts, guys. He, like, well, he, if you haven't seen Inception, you're spoiling it yourself. Yeah, d that's like, like saying like, oh, Luke is Darth Vader's son. Like, I can't believe you wrecked that for me. It's like, dude, that that happened a long time ago. It's yeah. Well, that, that's a 40 year spoiler. But yeah, he doesn't see his kids, and then he sees his kids again, and he's happy. But is it in a dream or is it real? That's what we don't know. And then he spins the top. Right? And the movie ends with the top spinning on the table, and it <coughs> seems like it's not going to fall, but it does feel like it's a little wobbly. So the whole mm. question is like, is it real or is it not? And do you know the answer to this? I don't. Do you know the answer? I, d I know enough to figure out the answer if you watch the end of the movie, Ooh, but I, I don't I remember it. the actual resolution. So okay. Ridley the, is going to be on the other end of this. Oh, we're edits. not going through right now. We're going to end the episode. Then. Yeah, we are going to end the episode through. right here. And here's the thing. Like, I almost guarantee I'm going to die. So we should go through here and die. And then get back here? Maybe. And then start the episode? Or maybe not. Actually, you know what? I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. <laughs> I, let's just leave. Why am I even here on Zeppus? <laughs> I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> See? See you guys later. No, this is the problem that we are facing, is that we do not have enough missiles yeah, we and have stuff two. saved up. We have a bunch of super missiles, but you need every missile you can have. So are we going to meet everyone back here then, next episode? Yep. Okay, so here we get so real, real quick, guys. So the in Inception, right? The top, the spinning top, that's not his... Whatever the word they used for totem. it, right? To, yeah, totem. To tell if he's in a dream or in real life. His is his wedding ring. If you watch the movie closely, you'll notice that every time he's in Dream World, his either his wedding ring is off or on, and then Do you know in this? the real because world, because I've been it's trying on, to off. watch the movie to see, and it's like you never get to see his wedding ring. Hand. Oh, you've heard this theory? I've heard the theory, but I've watched the movie a lot to try to figure it out, and I can't. <clears throat> I can't. Oh, so uh, maybe that's not right. See his hand. All right, guys. If you know what the deal with the end of the movie Inception is, uh, leave a comment below and let us know. And we'll see you right here next time in the basement. Uh, we're gonna fight some Ridley. Yeah, we'll see we'll how it goes. Missiles and stuff. Peace out. I don't know why I said peace out. Bye. Yeah, war out. <laughs> Give war a chance. <laughs> Perfect. Did you just make that up. Give war. A I chance. think I saw it on a bumper sticker <laughs> once, and I laughed and laughed. <laughs>